Oh, wow. Welcome back. The firefighters and paramedics of Firehouse 51 have risked their lives for 11 seasons in Chicago Fire. Wouldn't be the same without Lieutenant Stella Kidd to tell us all about the show. Miranda Romeo joins us live. Miranda, welcome. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi there. I like her artwork. I was in the just going to say you have really cool, like very surreal art. Is that? Can you tell us a little bit about that art? Oh my gosh! First of all, thank you so much. <laughs> um, second of all, <laughs> yeah, we have we just we have the classics. We have the queens, nice. Lauren Hill, yep. nice. Erica Badu, nice, and then. Uh, this was actually a gift from uh, my old castmate, uh, original member of Firehouse 51, Yuri Sardarov, who played Otis, nice. who we love, who died heroically in season eight. Wow. But, um, but thank you. Good taste, my friend. Mm -hmm. All right, you have been on Chicago Fire since 2016. How does your character break stereotypes about women firefighters, which I love? Thank you. Honestly, I think that she really kind of upholds this narrative and truth that female firefighters are tough as nails. They are so giving. I mean, all of the of the firefighters that I know and have relationships with, I mean, not only are they, you know, giving them of themselves on shift, but off shift. I mean, they're like delivering groceries to their neighbors. Wow. They're they're, you know, just such active parts of the community. And so it's been incredible to play a woman who cares so much about community service, yeah. about integrity, and, um, and also empowering other women. Like, I love the storyline of her creating this program, Girls on Fire, which was actually based on, uh, based on truths, on, on actual women creating uh, creating groups for young girls to know that they have a potential career in the fire service. Well, you know, so. that's kind of, it's what I wanted to get to kind of like with your job now. I, I want to know, what does it take to be a firefighter on Chicago Fire? Like, how do you mentally and physically prepare? Because I'm assuming there's some training involved. Sure. I think the biggest thing is a willingness to listen. We have on-set supervisors and fire safety officers. Um, our head technical advisor, uh, Chief Steve Chikoro, was on the on the incidents, which are the most uh, involved, I think, thing that we do on the show. And so, as long as you're like willing to listen, you're adaptable, and you can't take yourself too seriously. You got to be willing to make a fool out of yourself just a little bit. You know what I mean? Yes. Like all everybody that I work with is such, uh, is so playful and so loving. So if you take yourself too seriously, it it's, won't work. It's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so outside of, uh, we only have a few it, yeah, seconds left. Outside of the show, just sat there. outside of the show, you work with the Holistic <laughs> Life Foundation. I just wanted, we have about 30 seconds. Can you tell us more about that foundation? Basically, this is a foundation that is all about teaching kids and uh, and rebuilding communities with mindfulness techniques. So they replaced a school's detention uh, with a mindfulness room and uh, for seven years had zero suspensions. Wow. When before they had like dozens and dozens. Wow. So it's amazing. all about just mindfulness, uh, leading with love. They're an incredible, uh, incredible organization. And I love that it's working. Yeah, yes. right. You know what I mean? Immediately. Like, the proof is in the pudding. That's exactly. Right. Miranda, yeah. thank you so much for joining us on DBL. To our viewers, you can watch Chicago Fire Wednesdays on NBC. You can also stream it the next day on Peacock. We'll be right back. Thank, right. You. thank you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>